Remember when Daryl made that big old point? If I want her here, she'd be here. Okay, if I say come, she coming, okay? She dropping that dish right on the ground. It's going to shatter. And she's going to run over here. Because she's going to have to run because I crashed her car into the people. So now she don't have one, but she's going to run, okay? She's going to run is the point. <laughs> Dawn going to be on the side of the highway like this. Woo, woo, trying to get to her baby boy is what he said. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> He needs her attention. Just watch. It's so annoying. Go nothing. He ain't saying nothing. He ain't. Which, which also proves that he can hear her. He can hear her without the headphones. He ain't got the headphones on. Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. And now, as soon as she starts talking, look now. Ladies and here. gentlemen of the jury, when I read the jury instruction now, to look. you previously regarding credibility, I had a prior version of the jury instruction. Now, what I read to you at, in the very beginning. Look, soon as she starts talking, now he needs her attention. Soon as they get to going, now he needs her attention. And notice how as soon as she starts talking, he turns around and sees. Even though he pretends that he can't fucking hear her without his headphones. <laughs> Daryl ain't shit. When I say Daryl ain't shit, I mean he ain't shit. Ain't that something? oh he's so annoying i almost put that i had that actually as the on my thumbnail for this it's i put annoying but something about long words on the thumbnail that kind of they make me feel like it's hard to read it or something i don't know what it is so i like to use shorter words on the thumbnail <laughs> i'd be like is that right that don't look right for some reason <laughs> he's so annoying look at his Oh, I can't stand you, Daryl. Oh, you like my buttons? <laughs> I had them down as my pigtails. And then I was just playing it and I put them in the buns and I just kept them up in there. <laughs> mama, and a bun, mama and a bun buns. Can you imagine him with his teachers? Yes, Vonda. Him and his poor teachers. I bet his teachers were like, oh my God, I quit. <laughs> oh my gosh, does mama love me? Yes, force of, what is it? Force of a nape. Mama do love you. Yes, she do. Yes, she do. <laughs> does mama love you? Don't be asking them crazy ass questions. Either. You know mama love you. <laughs> Mama love her babies, okay? <laughs> Getting at the very beginning of this case was the most recent. I am going to read a short paragraph, but also tell you that in the packet that will be sent with the jurors to the jury deliberation room, it will have the complete instruction, and it's instruction <laughs> number 30, uh, 300, excuse me. And this is what I want you to know about credibility. That do look like a job interview shirt, though, don't it? <laughs> oh, Peanut Plex said he got on his job interview shirt, honey. He's trying to get a job as a lawyer, apparently. <laughs> In your determination of credibility, you must avoid any and all bias based on the witness's race, national origin, <laughs> religion, age, ability, gender identity, oh. sexual orientation, education, mm -hmm. income level, yep. or any other personal <laughs> characteristic. All those things. Consider carefully the closing arguments of the parties, <laughs> but their arguments and conclusions and opinions hey, are not Mexican. How you evidence. Doing, Draw your own conclusions from the evidence and decide upon your verdict according to the evidence under the instructions mm -hmm. given you by the court. Yeah, do that. With that, I will ask Attorney Opper to start with her closing argument. Go ahead. Happy life. Cam Cam, are you going to cut it out? <laughs> he said, J9E, would you marry Daryl or Bryce? 
if you had to choose one, first of all, I would never have to choose one because there's always things high that I can just. <laughs> I would choose that first. Absolutely not. I would I'm definitely not. Uh, no. And that would never happen. Absolutely not. There is, that, that is not. The last resort looks way different from those two things you just named. <laughs> I just laughed out both sides of my mouth at the same time. Oh, no, honey. Stop playing them kind of games, honey. Oh, hey, Debbie. How you doing, boo? Hugs and hugs and kisses and hugs. Yes. <laughs> my babies play too much. <laughs> <laughs> the BTK. Is that the old? Hold on one second. Mr. Brooks, do you have an objection? Nothing's... I thought I was supposed to I thought I was supposed to be unmuted. You are now. All right. Uh, attorney Opera, you may start. Thank you, Judge. Oh my god, you just waved your arms to get her attention. <laughs> then you got her attention. Here you go. I thought I was supposed to be unmuted. She's like, you are now. And then he goes back to saying nothing. What the fuck were you waving your arms for, Daryl? As soon as you had something important to say. I don't think he realizes still that he's trying to save his own life here. <laughs> Somebody didn't tell Daryl what the mission was. <laughs> you are early, Maxine. We just got up in here. What is you talking about? You know, I start with my greetings to my baby. So you is on time, honey. Okay on time mama was on the highway this week was one day this week and i got caught in this terrible traffic literally all it's like six lanes on this highway all six were stopped cold turkey so i knew whatever happened up ahead was bad because <laughs> none of the lanes was moving they shut down the whole highway and lucky for where i was i was they they veered us to make us take this exit that was up a little bit farther than where i was but later on, I found out what had happened. It was like a 10, I think 10 car pileup. And I said to myself, I'm always late. <laughs> it's a black stereotype. Well, might be some truth to it. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely not helping with that stereotype because I'm late as balls usually. So, but if I were not a late person like I am, if I was not such a procrastinator, I could have been in that pileup. <laughs> so what I say is, see, being late does pay off. <laughs> so with that, I say, you are not late, honey pot. You are on time, perfect time, perfect time. Okay. I could have been in that, but I wasn't because I was late. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. I'm here. Kind of nice to stand here in the middle of the courtroom, you know, all week or the last three weeks. They shoved me at the end of the table because I'm the lefty in the group. It's nice to be able to look at you all and say thank you. Truly thank you. Oh my god, Jesse Williams. That is hilarious. That that yeah, that was that was hilarious. Remember when Daryl made that big old point? If I want her here, she'd be here. Okay, if I say come, she coming, okay? She dropping that dish right on the ground. It's gonna shatter. And she gonna run over here, cause cause she gonna have to run because I, I I crashed her car into the people, and then it was taken to the police. So now she don't have one, but she gonna run. Okay, she gonna run is the point. <laughs> Dawn gonna be on the side of the highway like this, whoo, 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 trying to get to her baby boy is what he said. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> She did not show up. <laughs> she didn't even. Show <laughs> she 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 never showed up. Hilarious, just hilarious. That's all. Just hilarious. Each and every one of you, I want to express yeah. our sincere gratitude. Yes. From the prosecution team, myself, Deputy District yeah. Attorney Leslie Basie, Assistant District Attorney Zach Woodchow. There's no one in this courtroom that does not realize the sacrifice that you've made serving your community. 
Nah, I like to take my time. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> Josh? Josh say, J9, you can always be on time. Drive like Daryl. Nope. Nope. I like to take my time. My mother, my mother told me, and I've heard from many people, just all throughout life. You ain't gonna get there no faster. Wrapped around a light pole. That's what they say. <laughs> people be in a big, big hurry trying to get to where they're going. But you know, if you get pulled over, now you're 30 minutes late. <laughs> if you run into something. You're never going to get there or anywhere else, possibly. <laughs> so rushing on and rushing driving a death machine, not the best idea. If you're late, learn from it and be on time. Start leaving earlier. But speeding is not the answer. Speeding ain't the answer. I don't know. Melanator says he can't hear me. I don't know. But nobody else is complaining. So I can tell you this. I think it's you. <laughs> I think it's you. It's your computer. <laughs> it's your phone that's doing this to you. Melanator, it ain't me. Because ain't nobody else saying what you're saying. So, I don't know. I don't know. But you got to get there safe. The only way to do that, take your time, pay attention. Okay? Peanutplex, can you make a claim against Brooks? Can anyone on the chat... Make a claim against him. I moved for, for the matter to be dismissed on those grounds. <laughs> oh, Miss Daly said, can hear me, boss. She said she can hear me, boss. She can hear me good. Okay. But welcome. Oh, you can't hear me now. Okay, good. Good, Jesse. I'm glad you can hear me, baby. In this very important task. Hey, Bruce Harris. You've put your lives on hold. I don't even want to hear from your bosses. Thank you. You've watched these proceedings and you've noticed as we sit at our prosecution table, we don't have a client at our table. But rest assured, we do represent someone. Uh huh. We represent the people of the state of Wisconsin. It's an entity. Yes. I can't bring it to the courtroom. Hey, Rhonda. People hey, boo. enact laws. People <laughs> want to feel safe. People have representatives grounds. in Madison <laughs> or Washington, D.C. that set standards, rules hey, e. that we all are expected to live by. And when those rules are violated, prosecutors step in and enforce the law. Daryl Brooks does not represent anybody. Nope. He does not have a client. <laughs> Daryl Brooks is the client. <laughs> Daryl Brooks that. is the defendant. Uh, the state of she said he's the defendant. <laughs> defendant. Okay. Yes, he is. <laughs> Wisconsin is the plaintiff. Grounds. <laughs> it's really that simple. And it's consistent with any other criminal case you've ever heard about yep. at any other time in any other jurisdiction. All it of runs them. the same. Yep. No matter what state, state mm -hmm. or federal. That's it. This is how it be. I'm going to ask you for your guilty vote at the end of my comments. Hey, Cray Cray. It's up to you. I can't tell you to do anything. Except I'm going to say one thing to you that I wholeheartedly ask you to obey. Put him under the prison. Sorry for the interruption. Your objection, sir? A mischaracterization of who I am and the way it was said. I, I feel like it. The defendant. Talking down. <laughs> All right. Your objections noted. It's overruled. The state may continue. You must not, not, not. That's right. Not, not, not. anything about Daryl Brooks. Cray, cray. Cray, cray. I just made you a moderator, baby. <laughs> you are now a moderator. You are mod, honey. Okay. So moderate away. <laughs> you have a wrench. You have earned a wrench. Other than his <laughs> conduct in downtown Waukesha on the evening of November 21, 2021. Nothing he's done before that. Nothing he's done since that. When you go back to that deliberation room, please obey Judge Doro. Confine your comments yes, to they, his conduct they, they, on November 21 of 21. Baby, they, <laughs> Is he guilty of the 76 counts 
that he's been charged with. Mm. That and solely that should be your topic of discussion. Yep. So, so annoying. what are the charges against Daryl Brooks? Thank you for your patience in listening to the jury instructions. They must be read for each and every count. But sadly, they can be summarized very quickly like this as far as the actual counts. Counts one through six are first degree intentional homicide while armed with a dangerous weapon. Counts seven through 67, first degree recklessly endangering safety while armed with a dangerous weapon. That part. Counts 68 through 74. Damn. Hit and run causing death. Jeez. Counts 75 and 76. Barrel. Bail jumping. And count 77. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin G. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, Mr. Brooks, whoa. What is your objection? Um, I have 76 charges, not 77. It's a mischaracter it's mischaracterization of the charges. Uh, that oh, yeah. is correct. It is uh, sustained. It should be count 68 through 73, I believe, and then 74 through 75, and then 76. Thank you, Your Honor. I do apologize. Hey, you know what? Don't apologize. Just add another one. It ain't gonna make no difference. <laughs> He's still getting his thousand years. Okay, it's just, it's just, it's just, it is what it is, baby. He like, hey, hey, now what you ain't gonna do is add another two thousand charge. I only got nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> oh, thank you, Reds. Mama love you. Yes, she do. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. She should have made Alvin the chipmunk photo and exhibit. -y. Oh, I don't think they found that. Well, they probably saw that too. I'm sure they seen everything, honey. I'm sure they dug deep into all of his shit. That is a hilarious photo. I wonder if it's still on here. Let's see if it's still on here. Nah, I think I changed it. I'm gonna put it up though. Y'all wanna see tiny? Y'all wanna see tiny Daryl? I know it makes some of the people sick in here because he got his shirt off. <laughs> we'll leave him off today. We don't want nobody to get sick. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Mama love you. Yes, she do. <laughs> We're not trying to make my babies be sick. Okay. Okay. For my math skills. Dang, girl. 68 through 73, 74 and 75 are bail jumping, and 76 is battery. I apologize for go. that misstatement. Don't be apologizing for that. We're going to talk about counts 1 through 67 in detail. Uh huh. Counts yeah, 68 through 73, <laughs> hit and Just run causing and death, giggles. <laughs> in my opinion, are easily summarized as this He never stopped. He never stopped. Never. never. Bail jumping. He was out on bail for two files in Milwaukee County facing felony charges there. He was ordered to not commit any further crimes. Okay, well, good luck with that. <laughs> can, uh, was involved in any of the conduct oh. charging counts 1 through 67. Yeah. You should find him guilty of that. What is that? Is that what had happened? Battery. That relates. To the split lip, hey, the black guy suffered by Eric Alejandro. We told the story kind of backwards. We started with the battery. Yeah, tell it for forwards. background. Explain it all to us. First degree intentional homicide. You've seen this in our opening statement. You've heard it from Judge Doro. Did Daryl Brooks cause the death of the victim? A victim? Did he have? I'm sorry, did he act with intent to kill, meaning yes. either the mental purpose to take the life of another or was aware yeah. that his conduct was practically certain to cause the death yeah. of another human being? Yeah, yeah, that part. He did that. Uh -huh. Count one, Ginny Sorensen. Yep. Count two, Lee Owen. Count three, Tamara Durand. Oh, I got I got. Count four, Jane Kulik. Count five, Bill Hospital. Mm -hmm. Count six, yep. Jackson Sparks. Oof. They're babies. Those are the individuals who lost their lives 
because of the conduct of Daryl Brooks. Is that a judicial determination? <laughs> From there we go to reckless endangering safety. Decision. What is that? Objection. In this case, it means that through his reckless driving, he endangered the safety of other no, and he did on his so TV back. demonstrating utter Daryl. disregard for human life. Daryl said, y'all need to give me my TV. I need it for myself. <laughs> Everybody else got a TV in their cell. I want my TV. I have a TV. See if my mama bring it in here for me. No. They done shredded that thing. Behind Daryl, me is State's Exhibit 15. It's also on the PowerPoint. If you choose, you may have this chart with you in the deliberation room to help you walk through each of these counts if you find it helpful. It's up to you. If you don't want it, you don't have to have it. Mm -hmm. But it will be available for you if you ask. And it'll take you, as we did in our presentation of the case, right down Main Street and address all the counts that were involved, all the counts that were charged. Mm -hmm. To prove reckless endangering safety, and I'm just going to go back one slide, nowhere do you see there that we have to prove any degree of injury to anyone. Never once did J Judge Doe instruct you that somebody has to be physically injured. Now, Detective Casey told you that was the standard we used in deciding of all these hundreds of thousands of people who is included in these charges. And a decision was made by the prosecution team to include people who were physically injured to be efficient in our prosecution. And so everybody up and down the street, I would argue, had their safety endangered that day. I didn't charge 5,000 counts. Some of the groups, it's pretty easy. They walked in a formation and you can get a photograph or a diagram and you can kind of see pretty easily who was located where, right? And you can think back to the videos that you've seen for each of these groups and remember. It's an admiralty court. <laughs> Definitely an admiralty court for anyone who had any questions about that. The freedom pizza. You can get no freedom pizza, no freedom sandwich. Only a prison sausage. <laughs> a baloney pony, if you will. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, what is he talking about now? What Cam Cam say? Nothing like a Saturday Night Live, Daryl Brooks. I know that's right. Nothing like it, and baby. You'll see him again. The path of the vehicle is it went through each of these groups. This is South Band, of course. Yeah. All of these names that are being displayed on the PowerPoint Exhibit 21 <laughs> are on Exhibit 15 in green for Waukesha South. Pretty much the whole left half of the formation okay, sure. was endangered by the safety of Daryl Brooks driving up the side of that band. Take my cash up. I don't see no cash yet. The Extreme Dance Team. It's a little difficult to read. But again, this chart was marked as an exhibit. It's exhibit number 33. Oh, if you want it, you oh, can wow. have it in the jury yeah. room. The names on yeah. this chart will match the name. My cash app was delayed like a month. Either that or y'all all sent it literally simultaneously. <laughs> Thank you, Timothy. Thank you, boo. Oh, it's their green, the little St. Patrick's Day, I guess. So they made all the little hearts are green. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Thank you, boo. Mama love you. Yes, she do. And you, Timothy. Mama love you. Yes, she do. <laughs> and Alejandro. She said, thanks for making. I got to get to the things so I can read it. Say, thank you, Alejandra. Mama love you. Yes, she do. Yes, she do. Making me laugh every day. Oh, thank you, boo. Thank you, boo. Oh, my babies, they love me. My babies, they love me so. 
They do. Yes, they do. They told me so. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Okay. I don't dance. No way. I just take my Louis rag out and wave it around in the air. (laughs) 